Good afternoon. Got some news for you. You already know about this. Moore's Law is running out. And you're all familiar with Moore's Law. Here's a graphical representation of it. Moore's Law is the observation that we can double the number of transistors on a wafer of silicon every 18 months or so. And this is, the, this is Moore's Law graphically. Here's Moore's Law visually. Because every time we double the number of transistors on a wafer of silicon, we increase processing power. Therefore, all of the functions in the devices in the top photograph are in the single device in the bottom photograph. That's Moore's Law. But Moore's Law is running out, the party is almost over, and we're going to have to do something else to extract processing power from our computers. Enter parallelism. And one way we can learn about parallelism is through a tiny device called Parallela. It's a single board computer roughly the size of a credit card or a Raspberry Pi, and you plug in your HDMI monitor, plug in your USB keyboard, and you're good to go. It's got 18 cores, and you can fit this thing in your hand. It's got two ARM cores, 16 RISC cores, and I'll define those in a second. Uh, RISC is the 80-20 rule applied to computing. It's reduced instruction set computing. The 80-20 rule. Computer engineers have observed that 20% of our instructions are executed 80% of the time. So we've taken steps to make those instructions execute very quickly, very performantly. And then we build the remaining instructions out of those building blocks. So that's risk. So let's take a look at Parallela in action. This is what it looks like. It is a Linux, Linux computer. It runs a distribution of Linux called Linero. It's a variation of Ubuntu. It's got a web browser. It's got a command line interface. And it has the best text editor ever known to humans. Let's say it all together, Vim. <laughs> It's low power, too. I wanted to convince myself that it was really low power, so I took one of these handheld cellular charging devices with a photovoltaic cell on one side and a lithium-ion battery inside of it, jerry-rigged a USB cable and uh, a power adapter, soldered those puppies together, and yes, you can power it via solar power with a little five-watt solar device there, right? Let's talk about architecture. Inside the 16 cores, there's four rows, four columns. Rows are numbered 0 through 3, columns numbered 0 through 3. Let's take a look at what it can do for you. First, we're going to look for the, all of the prime numbers between 0 and 16 million in serial on the parallela. If you execute that, it takes just under four minutes. That's what the screen looks like. If you do the same program, run the same program on Mac OS X10, in fact, this same uh, Mac that I'm uh, working with right here, serial on Mac OS X, it takes roughly 14.4 seconds. So four minutes, 14.4 seconds. What if you run that same program, you modify it so it can run in parallel on the Parallela? Well, let's take a look at it. And I have a real quick movie for you running here. Let's take a look. We'll watch it build and run. And if you take a look inside of the parentheses, you see an ordered pair, row, column. What happened? All right, it's a lightning talk, so I'm going to skip ahead. Here's the punchline. In the parentheses, you see row, column for each core. It took 18.6 seconds. Let's summarize those results. Serial on the parallel, about four minutes. Serial on the Mac, about 14 seconds. Parallel on the parallel, about 18 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, this $150 handheld computer is performing about in the class of a $2,000 Mac. But don't throw away your Macs because, don't throw away your Macs because we kind of, this is kind of a setup. This is an example of an embarrassingly parallel problem, problem or an embarrassingly parallel program. What's going on here is this is the type of problem that we can break up into bite sized pieces very readily and it can be executed very quickly in parallel. If you want more details on this, you can go to my blog at rayhightower.com. We're at the end of the talk. Bottom line, this is Parallela. You can buy it for about 150 bucks at amazon.com. We as developers need to learn about parallelism now because Moore's Law, the party is almost over. And it's time for us to learn about parallelism so we can continue to extract performance out of our silicon. My name is Ray Hightower. You can learn more about me at rayhightower.com. Thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.